Hi everyone, it's Andrea, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do a tag, I don't often do these because I never get tagged in anything, but Chelsea J Marie Cullerman, thank you, tagged me in the TMI tag. Um, so I'm going to start a picture in Mythomorphia um, by Kirby Rosanes. Now I'll admit that these books have always intimidated me, but now I've actually done one of his pictures and some more complicated ones as well, I find it less intimidating. And as I go through the book, I've seen lots of pictures I want to do. I'm just going to find the one I want. So I'm going to start colouring in this double page spread of uh, mermaids and things while I'm doing the tag and then we will continue it with um, uh, as a colouring chart. It's going to take a while to get through this. I'm going to do the background first just because it's going to be fairly simple for me. I'm going to zoom right in because you know me. I like to zoom in. I'm going to start up here. I've got two colours. I'm using Prismacolor today. Um, I wasn't using Polychromos but I can't find them. I don't know where they are. I've really got to sort out my colouring supplies. They're all right state. And I'm going to be using Aquamarine which is PC905 and turquoise, uh, Cobalt Turquoise which is PC105. So yeah like I said this is the TMI tag and I can't remember who created it. Um, let me just have a look. See. Oh, she hasn't put who. I'm, I'm reading this off of Chelsea, so it doesn't say who it was, but I'll find out. Anyway, let's get started. So I've got my phone here with them on, and I'm just going to start colouring in the background let's put on this one, and then we'll do the rest of it uh, on another colouring chart. So I love these prisms. Yes, I do hold them very close to the end because I'm left handed and I find it easier, but I'm still fairly try and do it very fairly lightly to start with so question one what are you wearing I am actually wearing my pajamas which is a grey pair of bottoms with sloths on it and a black t-shirt that says little black night dress on it in gold there you go it is like nine o'clock so gone um, it's bedtime <laughs> have you ever been in love too yes many times and obviously I'm still with somebody so I'm still in love I'm in love with my partner Paul and he's amazing but yes many times many many times three ever had a terrible breakup yes I'm 47 it'd be very difficult to get through life without it I'm not going to go into details but I was with a guy who I was desperately in love with and we just split up and it just went wrong and it was oh it was awful and it's what prompted my move back to Wales so but it's all good I'm still friends with him to be fair I'm not a person that holds a grudge Life's too blinking short. How tall are you? Five foot five. Exactly the same height as my mum. What? Uh, number five. What do you weigh? About 17 and a half stone. I am trying to lose weight, but it's, you know, it's too hard going. I've got to be honest sometimes. I'm trying to eat better and not eat so much rubbish, but I do like sweet things. I can't help it. Uh, it's just the way I am. Uh, question six, any tattoos? Yes, I have a dolphin on my right arm, I think, yeah, on my right arm, and on my back, down my spine, I have a tattoo of a dagger with a rose wrapped around it. That's quite big, and believe me, the back one was very, 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 very painful. I am not going to lie. Seven, any piercings? I have had my he is pierced many times and I never wear rings and at one point I did have my belly button pierced but I didn't like it so I took it out. I'm not big on piercings but I do like earrings and wearing them so you know it's just a hassle keeping it up and wearing them every day so I just don't. Eight OTP one true pairing in fiction or reality? In reality yeah, yeah I'm with Paul so that'll do and of course Jennifer She's my heart and soul. My little girl. It's not going to take me long to do this. I'm not going to try and waffle you. I don't want to bore you to death. Uh, nine. Favourite show. Hmm. I don't watch a lot of TV. Um, if we're talking about current television shows, I'd say Call the Midwife. Because it's the only thing I really watch. Um, but if you're talking about of all time I would have to say the 1980s series The Equalizer. Yeah. But yeah, call the midwife. Um 
Oh, where have I gone? At number 10, favourite band. Um, this is a band, an Irish band called the Saw Doctors. There you go. I'm going to I'm gonna go with them. I love them. They're fantastic. Uh, very big in Ireland. Very, very big in Ireland. And in the States, but the Saw Doctors, yes, definitely. 11, something you miss. Every dog we've ever owned that has passed on every one of them especially uh, Misty and Rosie Rosie because she was the latest one who passed and Misty because um, she was just a lovely loving dog it's like puppies grow up to be dogs Misty didn't grow up to be a dog she grew up to be a baby you could literally cradle you cradle her in your arms like you would a baby and she'd happily lie there in your arms like a little baby would looking at you she was the sweetest thing in the world and I do terribly miss her Number 12, favourite song. This can change, but overall I would say it's If I Can Dream by Elvis Presley. So go check that out. I love it. It's a song about hope and passion. It's very, it's a very, very passionate song. You know, if I can dream of a better land where all my brothers walk hand in hand. I'm not going to sing it because it's too low for me. Why can't, why can't it come true? So if I can dream it, why can't it be? So that's that sort of song. I love it. Number 13. How old are you? I will be 47 on the 29th of June this year. So not far away. And I don't care. I'm fine with that. I mean, I'm not far off 50, but I don't feel particularly other than I get tired and I get a bad back any older than I was when I was 18. And I can drink gin and not get a hangover the next morning, so I am happy. Uh, number 14 zodiac sign is Cancer. Cancer the Crab. I do love the water, mind. It's probably why I picked this picture, because I love water. I love being in the water. So there's that one. 15 quality you look for in a person. Now that is hard because there are several things you look I look for in person. Kindness and honesty I think would be the most important things above all. Kindness and honesty. Sixteen, favourite quote. Now I have two favourite quotes and I can't choose between them. One is from Terry Pratchett's Hogfather and it's from the TV ad adaptation, the Sky adaptation, rather than the book which is slightly different. And it's the character of death. He turns around and he says, humans are so interesting. In a universe filled with wonders, they invented boredom. And I think that says a lot. And the second one you will probably think is rather funny. And it's from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I think it's season, I want to say five or six, when she dies, saving her sister Dawn. I think it's five or six. I'm not sure. I haven't watched it in years. But she's about to, to jump off this sort of tower thing that glory has built and she turns to dawn and she says the hardest thing to do in this world is to live in it be brave live i just oh, think that's a fantastic quote favorite actor come on now you all know that's marilyn monroe i don't have a particular favorite modern actor i guess um so it'd be uh, for female actor it'd be marilyn monroe male actor Oh, I, I, that's hard to say because they don't really bother me. I do like Tom Hanks. I like British actor Tom Burke. He's lovely. Um, obviously Clark Gable from the old days and James Stewart. So no, I don't really have a favourite actor, but uh, male actor, but my favourite female actor is Marilyn and always has been and always will be. Uh, 18 favourite colour, red. Always has been red. I love the brightness, the passion of it. I just love red. So that's my favourite colour. Um, 19, loud music or soft. It depends on the mood. Uh, you know, if it's if I'm, I'm tired at night, I like to listen to a bit of jazz on Spotify. You know, some John Coltrane. I do like classical, but then sometimes I like a bit of rock and roll, uh, the Beatles, stuff like that. I, I, you know, so it really depends on the mood. So I couldn't say I prefer one over the other. It depends on... Uh, my mood at the time when I'm listening to it. 20. Where do you go when you're sad? I don't have 
the option to go anywhere I'm sad because I have a three-year-old to look after but generally I would just you know when I was a youngster if I was sad I'd go to my room and, and either watch a movie or, or listen to to some music you know but now I don't have that luxury because I've always got to be around for Jen but it, you know if I'm sad and it, it's an evening and she's in bed then I'll probably just go to bed and either sleep or uh, look at my phone or do some colouring or just watch a film but you know I don't really get that luxury uh, 21 how long does it take you to shower now that depends on the reason if it's just to, to have a quick clean 10-15 minutes but sometimes if it's hot I like to luxuriate in the coolness of a shower turning the heat off slowly getting it cooler and cooler and then put it up to body temperature just so that I'm not overheat over cool you know 15 minutes if I'm getting ready to go out 20 to 30 if I'm in that sort of I can't be bothered to do anything and I'm just enjoying the water mood <laughs> um, 22 how long does it take you to get ready in the morning if you're saying get ready from the time you get up to the time you're actually ready to do anything around an hour um, I like to get up I have a cup of tea and toast uh, my breakfast on my own without anybody around me um, but if you're just talking about get ready to go to work <laughs> 20 minutes <laughs> not long if I'm going out for the night then that would be different or if I'm putting makeup on it would take me a bit longer but I'm not one of these people that takes a long time to get ready even when I'm going out it doesn't take me a long time um 26 the reason you joined YouTube uh, first of all it was a to watch videos and then because I started doing uh, booktube which I really enjoyed um, I enjoyed talking about books hauling books reading books reviewing books um, and stuff like that that sort of come to an end to an extent when I had Jennifer the first year was fine but as soon as she got old enough to want my attention all the time I really wasn't reading very much I was too busy obviously doing things with her now she's a bit older I, I get more time to read again not a lot but I do get a, a bit of time to read which is nice um, but yeah and then I started the colouring and I thought I can make these sorts of videos in, in the evening um, and I can colour in bed which is what I do when Paul's watching the football and so I started doing the colouring videos now I'm, I do a bit of both I still do the, the, the obviously a lot of colouring videos because that's mostly what I do but I do still do some book videos here and now and I've got a few I have to film because I'm a bit behind again this month which can happen quite a lot um, 27 fears yeah um, I'm not scared of a lot of things, I don't like spiders, but if we're talking about fears that actually paralyse me, the one thing I am scared of more than anything is somebody I love dying. Um, particularly, obviously Jennifer, that would be horrendous, but because she's so young. But my dad, mum and dad, the, that is my biggest fear, is them dying, and I know it's going to happen one day, and I'm going to have to deal with it. But the older I get, and the closer it, you know, it's going to happen at some point and the older they get, the harder I find the thought of it because the longer they're here, the, lo the more it seems that they're going to be around forever and they're not. And it's really my biggest fear is losing them. I, I can't even... I I've had nightmares about it. I have. Um, it is. So we nearly lost my dad a few years ago, a couple of years ago when Jennifer was born that year, 2018. We nearly lost him and it was horrendous and I hated it. He was so sick, but I know it's going to happen. But even the thought of it makes my heart race. So that's my fears. 28, the last thing that made you cry. Uh, probably something Jennifer did. <laughs> something cute. Or the last episode of Call the Midwife. Because I always cry at that. Twenty-nine. The last time you said you love somebody, well, I said I love you to Paul before he went into the other room to go to sleep. So today, thirty. The meaning behind your YouTube name? Well, it's called Andrea's Attic. It was just my name first, but I changed it to Andrea's Attic because it was developing to more of a channel that dealt with hobbies. And when you get tired of hobby, where do you put it? In the attic. So it's Andrea's Attic, and it's full of hobbies. <laughs> 
So, I mean, I have got a lot of hobbies. I've got reading, I've got colouring. I like to write poetry occasionally. I love movies, I love music. Um, photography and cameras are a big hobby of mine. So there's all that that I do, and I sort of call it Andrew's Attic. We got, you know. So that's where that came from. It's also my business name on eBay, Andrea's Attic. So it all just ties in nicely for for that. Uh, the last person you talk to, number 34, that would be Paul. Again, before you went to bed. 35, the relationship between you and the last person you texted. Well, that would be Carl. He's a mechanic that looks after my car. Um, I'm trying to get my car serviced before we go away um, on holiday. So I'm trying to get it booked in, but I haven't heard back from him, so it was Carl, my mechanic. 36. Favourite food? Gosh. Oh, I don't know. Favourite food? Um, chicken and home-cooked chips which you Americans call fries which is fine uh, but thick cut chips made from Maris Piper potatoes cooked by my mum or dad and cold chicken I, I think that's it we have it a lot um, you know either that or my mum's stew because oh my god that is just beautiful so that would be that I know we're not doing we're only doing the background so it's a bit boring I guess um, 37, the place you want to visit everywhere. <laughs> I would love to visit lots of other places. Um, the biggest place I guess I want to watch, uh, visit, watch, I would like to visit is going to be, I would say, Egypt. I'd love to visit the pyramids. And, just looking for a colour. Yeah, I'd kind of love to visit the pyramids. It's one of the places I've always wanted to go to. Um, and I love anything to do with ancient Egypt. So I'm going to do some of the um, columns rather than just the background. I'm going to use ginger root, which is PC1084, and clay rose, which is 1017. I'm just going to give that a quick sharpen. So. Uh, it's not going to be as long as Chelsea's video, but it's still going to be long enough. So. There we go, and my phone's decided to go off, so I'll just log it back in, and we'll get back to the questions. Okay. Oh dear. 38, the last place you were. Um other than my living room. Um, yesterday, um, well, I suppose it would be this morning, I took Jennifer to nursery, obviously. Oh, I don't like that colour. Do I like that colour? Hmm, that's right. Uh, obviously, I took Jennifer to nursery uh, this morning. So other than the house, it would have been uh, the nursery that she attends uh, daily. And yesterday, it was next door's hot tub. 39, do you have a crush? I think I'm too old to have crushes. I'm not, but I can tell you some of the people I did have crushes on um, years ago when I was a lot younger. So the guy that was in the equaliser, not Edward Woodward, obviously, because he was a lot older. Uh, there was a young man in there, his name in the series was Mickey Costmeyer. And he was played by a name, uh, a guy named Kisai Bajka or Sarah Baker however it's a Polish name and he's a very nice man and um, funny enough I am actually friends with him on Facebook and it is him it's not a, a a false account I feel very privileged to be friends with him because he is somebody I had a major crush on when I was a kid I still love him to bits even though he's a lot older he was born in 1959 um, and he's obviously a lot older now and I mean I think he's still handsome, even though he's that much older than, obviously, in the 80s, he was at his peak, and he was just, he is just gorgeous, oh, I love him, he, if you haven't seen him in that, he was in, um, oh, the Batman film that Heath Ledger was in, he played a cop, um, he was in Angel as Daniel Holtz, what else has he been, he's been in loads of things, 
absolutely tons. But the Equaliser, he made a film called Nightlife in the 80s. Terrible film, but he was gorgeous as always. He is just lovely. So I would say he'd be my crush. Other than Paul, obviously, but I'm assuming it's somebody else. At 40 the last time you kissed someone, uh, when Paul went to bed, so early this evening, so it's a bit boring because um, it's all about Paul. Obviously I kissed Jennifer but that was when she when I put her to bed and that was a while ago, so Paul was the last person I actually kissed. Um, 41, the last time you were insulted, oh I don't know, I don't pay no attention to it, it happens loads. <laughs> either on YouTube by trolls or, um, I don't know, I don't actually remember. Um, no, I don't remember. Uh, and I, I think I'm at an age now where if somebody insults me it just rolls off and I'm like, yeah, whatever. I really just don't care anymore. So go, you know, go figure. You get to the age, you get to a certain age and it just doesn't matter anymore if somebody in, insults you. You're just like, yeah, okay, whatever you want, mate, I don't care. Yeah, I'm, I'm too old for this nonsense. <laughs> so you just don't notice it as much. Um, 42, your favourite flavour of sweets? No, I'm not a big sweet person. I like fruit pastels or rhubarbs and custards. There, but I love them. Oh, now you want me to. Oh, now I want sweets. 43. What instrument do you play? I don't. I don't. I can't play an instrument, but I can sing. I'm not going to sing for you. I've done that many times on this channel. But yeah, I can sing and I love to sing. So, and, you know, voice is an instrument, so it counts. But uh, proper instrument, musical instrument like guitar, no, I don't. Uh, 44. Your favourite piece of jewellery? Not a big jewellery person, though I do have a sterling silver uh, ankh that um, Paul gave me and I have a gold inlaid ankh with my name on it in Egyptian hieroglyphs that my brother bought me. I guess those two would be my favourites. They're all very Egyptian. I love Egyptian style jewellery. It's just me. Very, very me. I love it. There we go. the last sport you played. I don't play sports at all anymore. Obviously I did when I was at school. I'm not, I don't like sport. I like to swim which is a sport but I haven't been for over a year because of this but I guess yeah it would be swimming. It was the last sport but you don't play sport it's just something you do. Um, but I don't do sport. I don't mind watching it. I love watching the athletics and I love watching the Olympics and the Winter Olympics and the ice dance, I love that. Um, swimming, even cycling, I, I like quite like that, but I don't like doing it myself, um, but that's for personal reasons. But yeah, no, I don't play a sport and I don't like sport much at all. I don't like football, I don't like rugby, but I get why people do. 46, the last song you sang, there were two, Last Night in the Hot Tub Next Door, uh, we had music on and I was singing Flippin' Phil featuring Karen Dantic Heartbeats and Candy J if I were you. 47, your favourite chat up line. I don't have one so I've never used it. Um, yeah, no, never really been into chat up lines or used them so it's not something I can answer. 49, last time you hung out with, hung out with her, right? yesterday I hung out with my neighbour Jess, her mum Debs and her daughter Sienna, Paul and Jennifer next door in the hot tub which was lovely. It's become a, a Sunday thing we tend to do and it, it's really really nice, it's relaxing, it's, it wasn't too hot uh, in the tub yesterday she turned the temperature right down so it was a beautiful temperature, nice and about, you know, it, so it wasn't cold, but it wasn't boiling. 50, who should answer these questions next? Anybody that hasn't done it who wants to, basically. So if you are a YouTuber, a colorist, or, or even any sort of YouTuber, you can do it. Um, yeah, please do. Uh, whether or not I'll actually list the questions is another matter. I might just copy them off of Chelsea's. 
because I'm that kind of person. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it's fun. I, I like the tags. I like watching them. I know that people have been doing the scavenger hunt. I've not been tagged in it, but I might do it anyway because Chelsea said to do it if you want to. Um, but yeah, it was it was fun thinking about some of these. I mean, obviously some of them don't apply because I'm so old and I'm so old to make it sound like I'm 90. Or I'm older and I don't do certain things, you know. I mean, I'm not worried about insults and crushes and things like that, you know. But yeah, that is the TMI tag. I, I, I don't know if you've actually learned anything about me. You might have, I hope so. Um, obviously, if you've liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to leave me a comment down below on what you think. And share it and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Now, as you can see, I have not done much of this. We've only been going for 25 minutes. But we will continue doing this in our next colouring chat, which will be up in the next day or so. And I'll find something else to talk about. And I will see you very soon. So, bye everyone. Bye.